I love horses and I'd like to learn more about them. How different is the teeth of a horse from that of humans? Also, do I have to brush my horse's teeth every day? What will happen to my horse if I don't brush its teeth? These are questions from our Cherry's viewers and we'll dedicate this episode to teaching and then answering all the questions regarding taking care of the teeth of horses. If you also have any questions regarding horses or any other animal, kindly send them through us. You can send a short video or a short audio to us via this email or you can send it to our WhatsApp numbers and we'll make episodes to address or solve the problem that you are facing in your animal or pet. If we are to compare humans and horses, horses are herbivores and humans are omnivores and our teeth or dentition is based on the type of food we eat. Horses' main food is grass and because horses have a smaller stomach, they are supposed to continuously eat. So the, the teeth continues to chew on the grass and that wears off. To compensate for that, the horse's teeth continues to grow. And in the process of grinding, the, there are sharp ends or on the uneven ends of the teeth are sharpened. And so it needs regular checking. However, you don't have to brush your horse's teeth every day. The nature of the feed the horses eat cleans them out, which is the grass. And that makes horses have a very good breath if you are to smell them out of horses. However, let me introduce you to what is termed floating. Floating is a simple term that refers to the regular maintenance of the mouth, where the uneven edges of the, of the teeth are, are smoothened. Like I mentioned earlier on, because the teeth continues to grow and then wears off, we have different parts of the teeth, especially the the lower, the, the upper jaw has the external part, the part closer to the cheek, often becoming very sharp. And then the lower jaw has the part closer to the tongue, often becoming very sharp. So if you don't smoothen this uh, part of the teeth with time, when the horse is chewing, you realize that it will be biting, the upper jaw will be biting the, t the cheek tissue how the lower jaw will be biting the tongue. If it becomes severe, and then the whole, when the horse is chewing or eating, it feels a lot of pain. The horse will stop eating, or when it's chewing, it will not be able to chew or grind the grass very well. That also goes against the process of digestion. So the grass is also not digested properly. And with time, you realize that your horse may be eating or may appear to be eating or whatever, it will be losing weight. So these are some of the reasons why you have to get your horse's teeth checked and floated quite um, often. Now, the frequency depends on the age of your horse. Usually you have the young ones, when you have a, a, a young horse, you want to check it uh, and see whether there are other congenital problems that your, your foal came with. Yearlings have been found to have enamel points sharp enough to damage cheek and tongue tissue. You'd have to check their teeth regularly and float them before you start training them. Horses between ages of 2 and 5 begin to lose their um, deciduous teeth, that is the baby teeth, and then the permanent teeth replace them. So you have to also be cautious and then pay attention to their teeth at that age, between age two and five years. You need to have your, your dentist or your veterinarian check your horse's teeth very well around this time. And generally, you find horses getting 30, 36 to 40 teeth. That is for an adult horse. Usually, the, the females have lower numbers, while the males have up to about 40. Adult males have up to about 40 teeth. However, in older horses, uh, because of possible other dental problems, you need to check them very frequently. You monitor them, their eating habits and all that. And as you take care of them reg on a daily basis, you check um, to see, you find out to see if there is any abnormality. 
if there is, kindly call your veterinarian to come and then attend to your adult horses, usually between the ages of 17 and 20 or even more than 20 years. You need to... Some of the most dangerous teeth problems or dental conditions in horses include infections of the gum and the teeth. Also, you get some of the teeth overgrowing and some of the teeth actually get fractured or they break off. In such conditions, you need to invite or let your veterinarian come and check your horse out, the teeth of your horse out. And depending on the situation, your veterinarian may even have to extract or remove the tooth from your horse's mouth. In worst case scenario, your equine veterinarian may refer you to an equine de dentist for treatment to be done. Therefore, it is very important for everyone to pay attention to the teeth health or the, the health and the maintenance of the teeth of their horses to keep their horses in good shape and good condition throughout their lives.